Hello, my crafty friends. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. Welcome back to part five of my coffee, tea, you and me crafting series. Today I have two fun projects that I've created to go with my coffee themed loaded envelope. Before you is a box card that I have created. I purchased a digital file from the Lori Whitlock site. I love Lori's website. She has so many fun digital files that you can use. The great thing about her files is that you can download them from her site directly into Cricut Design Space and it automatically sizes it for you. Now this card holds flat but it also has a ton of dimension. When I turn it over, you can see the three dimensional layers here. And I use my Martha Stewart apron lace punch to add a little bit of dimension on the sides of the card. The card did come with these three coffee cups here. And then I used my Love You A Latte Cricut cartridge to add this larger coffee cup. On the tops of the coffee where the whipped cream is, I added clear glass beads. And then I also used glossy accents on the hearts and on the spoon. I also used my Tim Holtz Sizzix rosette die to make this fun little rosette. And then I used a smaller die cut to make this little sign that says latte. And then finally, we have this little sentiment here. This is from one of the coffee stamps that I shared with you, and it says, good things happen over coffee. The next project that I created is this adorable K-Cup coffee holder. I purchased these digital files from the Cutting Cafe, which is owned and operated by Regina Easter. Let me go into the details of this. At the top here, I have this fun pink and gold ribbon. I made this bow here using my Martha Stewart bow punch. These little coffee cups I cut out using my Cricut cartridge. On the bottom here, I have this fun little sentiment that says, you and me and a cup of coffee. The great thing about Regina's files is that she also includes several different sentiments for every single project. I use my Martha Stewart apron lace trim to create this little border here. This was not part of the digital file. And this is what the back looks like. I used a little cut apart from the paper collection that says love you a latte. And then again, this little coffee cup was cut out using my Cricut. I just think this is just such a fun little gift. And you don't have to use this just for K-Cups. You can put other little fun details inside the box. This concludes my review of my box card and my K-Cup coffee holder. Hopefully I've inspired you with some fun and creative ideas. If you like this video, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hopefully you will join me for part six of my coffee, tea, you and me crafting series where I do a final reveal of my coffee themed loaded envelope. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now and have a wonderful, wonderful day.